Don't forget to head on to ashleytheunicorn.merchforall.com for our official Ashley the Unicorn merch today. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. A link's down in the description below. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back on some more Roblox. Today, playing some more Blocks Ray. And today, we're going to be making a bakery only using hacks that you guys have given me. You guys have given me a ton of hacks since the previous video. And you guys are giving me a lot of kitchen type of hacks. So I think you guys want me to make a bakery. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. We've already made a house using only hacks. And you guys really enjoyed that video i love that video as well so today we're gonna be making a bakery uh, or a restaurant whatever you want to call it so that is what we're gonna do and we're gonna see how this turns out so if you guys do enjoy these hack videos don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel because it truly helps me out knowing that you guys like these videos and if you guys want some more of them i will do a ton of them but without further ado let's just get right on with this video here so over here i have already made a little size of it don't mind my heart and my crusty crab or whatever um i really need to clean up my plots but i'm too lazy to do that so anyways we're over here with our bakery and i thought this would be like a perfect size you know i mean this might be a little too small actually so we might need to expand it just a tad bit okay so i think that is big enough um not too big not too small you know so there we go we have that and then let's go ahead and make our a roof over here i do have a little hack for the outside because i did make a bakery in my previous series that i did i did a bakery series if you haven't checked out that series you can go check it out but um we made a bakery and i had a cool little interior not interior exterior decorating so we might go do that and maybe that can be our hack but most of the hacks that you have given me are for the inside so we'll check those out but i'm gonna go ahead and whip up the outside color it up and then we will show you guys that hack and get into the actual hacks okay so here is the bakery outline basically of course it had to be pink because everything that i make has to be pink so here it is i painted it a little bit as well I added some windows but the first hack is to make like you know those on sets or like those awnings that bakeries have i made this in my previous bakery and it was super cute so that is what we're gonna do right here and basically what you have to do is get like one of those roofs or whatever what are those things called the stove tops or something i don't know what they're called hold on let me go find them ah oh, yes it's called the basic hood so basically you get these basic hoods and you just put them down. I'm sorry, I just drank some hot chocolate. So, like, <laughs> my mouth is, like, very chocolatey at the moment. Anyways, so, basically, what you want to do is get these. And you just place them down, like, so. And then you can change the colors into, like, black, pink, black, pink. And it looks really cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these down. And then we'll color them up. And I'll show you exactly, like how it looks i forgot the only problem is that you can't really use a tall door so i had to change the door but other than that there you go you have that and basically what you just want to do is go ahead and paint this white over here and then you paint the next one in line pink and you just like keep doing back and forth and it should make like a cool little awning so i'm gonna do that and it's gonna look super cute and you guys are gonna love it okay it's not really a hack because i feel like i I saw this from someone else, but I don't remember because I made that bakery a long time ago. So if you guys want to know who I made it from, go check out that bakery video. Um, but it's been quite a while, so I don't really remember it. Also, it's free lighting. So I think I made it a little different, actually, in the other bakery because it actually looked a lot better. Maybe you're actually supposed to space them out because it, it looks kind of bad. You know what? forget it <laughs> but that is one of the hacks if you do it right it looks really cute but um knowing me i suck at hacks so there you go you have that and boom we have our bakery outside so let's go ahead and head on inside and start 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 these bakery hacks they're not really bakery hacks but you guys have sent me a lot of kitchen hacks so that's what we're gonna use most of them are like for the actual kitchen so we're gonna have to go back here but some of them are really cool and we can put them like in the main area so let's head on to twitter and i'll show you guys a couple of them so first and foremost i saw this one and it was such a cool idea you can actually like put dirty dishes inside of the the sink and i thought this would be a great idea for you know a bakery or any kitchen basically so basically you need advanced placement food cabinet sink patio table the small one you put like underneath and then you need a cake stand so you can actually put stuff on top of it so this is such a cool idea so we're gonna go ahead and make the kitchen in the back and then do this sink hack and see how it goes <laughs> okay so basically how you do it is you have um your counter with your kitchen uh which your, your kitchen and with your sink and then you have a patio table and a cake stand and basically you just want to place it really nicely um there we go boom so there you go you have that and basically you can just put whatever you want on it so once we like get the whole thing running we can add some food on top and we'll see how it looks but i'm gonna go ahead and finish this place up we're gonna add a fridge add our stove and all that jazz and make it a 
functional kitchen and then we'll go ahead and try another hack so the next thing i wanted to try out was this you can actually put food in the microwave we actually found this out in my house hack video so it's not actually new new but a couple of you guys have been sending it as well so we're gonna go ahead and use it in our bakery and hum come on it's a food place we have to use all the food hacks that we can find so if you didn't watch my other hack video where we actually made the house you might not have seen this but we actually did this this thing is bothering me so bad but whatever so basically what you want to do is get a um get a microwave here and then you have to like make food we don't have food right now so i can't really show you this so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get some food out so we can do our sink hack and then we can also do our microwave hack just because that is the point of the video wait i don't even have a door to the i don't have a door to the kitchen <laughs> hold on let me do that okay there we go now we're ready to actually cook some food up so we're just gonna take some stuff out of the uh what you call it the fridge just because i don't really want to cook at the moment so we're gonna place a couple of pizzas some chips and then also let's go ahead and get some other stuff here that we can put probably in the sink or something so let's get some hamburgers as well um so there we go we have all of that jazz so then let's go back to build mode and then we're we we can now like you know put the stuff on the cake stand it should look like dirty dishes basically okay so i think i did this wrong because you're supposed to put like the food first and then you can probably put the sink on top of it so there we go and it looks like dirty dishes this would actually work a lot better if we did like glasses of water and stuff so i might switch that up but um yeah so that works you can put dirty dishes and then this actually works if you put the food first and then you put the microwave on top. Let me just move that a little bit. And then it should work. And there you go. You have some burgers inside of a microwave. So we did that in the previous video. But it's still a cool little hack. So there you go. You know how to do some dirty dishes. You know how to put something in the microwave. Um, so basically those are the kitchen hacks that I've seen. So let's go ahead and start building the outside over here. So the next hack is actually for the counter area. To just make it a little bit more fun and pizzazzy. Maybe you can like put some food on it or something to show off. But like I don't remember. I, I can't find the Twitter the Twitter the tweet for this I am so so sorry but if you guys know who did this please let me know because I don't even remember um but I saw it and I remember it I just can't find it so what you want to do is get a ladder shelf over here and you just put it in the corner and then you put the counter on top and it looked really really cool so let's go ahead and try this out over here so there you go you just want to connect the counter um on large or something maybe you can do it on small too I don't really know but there you go you have a cool little stand I mean it's kind of sticking out so so hold up let me fix that up okay so there we go it is all fixed so basically you have a little cute little shelf i mean you can put some food on it maybe you know Bloxburg can add some cupcakes or something so we can put them on there i know they're adding donuts so this could be really fun to like have a donut shelf or something <gasps> maybe you can make a donut shop when that update comes i am so happy for that update but Maybe they can add cupcakes. Tell Bloxbrook to add cupcakes. So that's another hack to display your food or something like that. So there we go. We have that. And then let's go ahead and find some more. So I thought this was a cool hack as well. So basically you can get like a tree and then you put one of those water fountains and it looks like the tree is being watered. I mean, it could be a fun little decoration for the bakery. You know, we're always about nature and you know, so let's go ahead and put these like by the door or something. So let's see how this looks. So basically what we need is a plant, of course. I think we can use any plant, but use this plant so we're just gonna use it um and we're gonna put it by the door over here and then we're gonna get some water stuff over here what are those things even called wait are these over here or are they on build i don't know i have found them there are sprayers or whatever they're called okay so i don't exactly know what we're supposed to do like we're supposed to put it inside of the thing but that's gonna go over it so maybe we're supposed to do like the, the narrow one so maybe we'll get this yeah okay and then we put like it oh oh that is cool okay and it looks like it's being watered that is a cool little decoration i mean it just looks really cool so that is really fun i mean it doesn't really show like that much but i mean it's pretty cool and dandy so there we go you know our plants will never die even though they're probably fake plants but you know it's okay we can pretend they're real so we have those plants over there um i haven't really seen any other hacks too much a lot of your hacks are for um what you call it for like building like 
beds and stuff so i can't really use most of them so i'm gonna whip up a bakery really quick and maybe we'll use like a table hack or something for the tables and then we'll call it today because we've done quite a few hacks here so i'm gonna decorate a little bit and i'll be right back but i think this will actually be a really cool hack to use some placement mats i've seen these everywhere but this girl sent me some so i was like you know what it's a bakery we have to use this so we're gonna add some placement mats so basically how you do this is um how do you do this okay let's see here's the hack so first you get the what the nightstand then put a cake stand on it okay so it's basically a cake stand on a table with a nightstand i can do this i'm getting like a per be i'm becoming a pro with hacks okay guys so there we go we have that i would use this one maybe we can use this one i mean it's i would i think that table would hurt my side so maybe we'll keep this for a different video um and yeah we're gonna use that i mean we can make a bathroom and use the toilet hack again but yeah we're gonna use some placements and uh, we'll go with that and we'll see how that goes <laughs> but i also found this hack over here and we always need some lights i always oh, i forgot about the lights so we can actually use this one so you use the plain chandelier go to small grid and place a uh, a lot in a in one spot and then it, it helps the lighting looks really good okay so this is a hack for better lighting because i say that i hate the lighting so much because it actually sucks okay so we're back here we're gonna use the lighting hack first and then we'll go ahead and do the placement mats so basically you said to just get a chandelier over here just a normal chandelier um and then you just place it down and then you place a ton of them down does it does it actually make it brighter or not or can we like oh do you mean like turn it around <gasps> oh that looks cool but like is it actually making it brighter though like i don't know if this is, makes it brighter wait it's actually is it actually making it brighter because that is so cool wait i have to check this out okay so if i put like one right here that's bright is it, is it getting any brighter or am i just blind because i don't know let's try it in the kitchen over here so there's one and then if I put more, is it getting any brighter? I don't know if it's getting any brighter, but it's quite bright. So leave a comment down below if it's actually getting brighter or not. Because I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it looks pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm not complaining about that. But I'm not sure if it's actually getting any brighter. I think it is because, like, look how bright it is, you know? I don't know. Huh. Comment down below what you guys think. But let's go ahead and try out this uh, placement hack over here. So we want some end tables. We want some cake stands. And we just put them on top, basically. And then you just put it inside of the... Oh, oh, that is way easier than I thought. Wow. <gasps> wow, it works. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, wow, that works so well. Like, this is probably the easiest hack ever because it actually, like, goes inside. So... There you go. You have some placement mats. Like, how cool is that? So we have our some placement mats over here. Let's go get some more of these because I want some more. And so there we go. We have some chandeliers with tons of lights. We have plants with water coming out. We have some placement mats. We have this cool little thing to, like, put some decorations on. We have the microwave with food. And we also have the dirty sink. So I'm going to go back out of build mode. And we're just going to fix a couple of things. Put some things on the paintings. And we're going to, you know, add something on the little shelf area. Area. we're gonna add some dirty dishes put some stuff on the placement mats and just make it a look a lot better so let's go head on over here and we're gonna take a slice of pizza over here put them on the placemats i know this is supposed to be a bakery and i'm putting pizza everywhere but you know i'm just too lazy to cook some food so we're just gonna put the pizza here so there we go um i hope there's a piece of cake in the fridge because i'm gonna cry if there isn't <gasps> there is oh my gosh i knew it so there we go we have some cake over here and you just want to like put put it right there there we go <gasps> that looks so cool oh my gosh you guys that is so cool i love that okay so this is probably one of my favorites but i think my favorite is the dirty sink because i think that's just a cool idea but i really want to make it look a lot more realistic so we're gonna get some water over here we're just gonna get like a bunch of you know not an apple i thought that said apple juice but okay let's get some orange juice i think it looks a lot better with you know dirty stuff and then maybe like some more plates so let's go get a portion of this i think that'll look a lot better than just pizza so we're gonna go back to build mode and try this again so there we go we're gonna put a slice of pizza there let's go put some OJ, oj oj orange juice over there let's get some water and then place it back oh yeah that looks so much better it looks so much better with glasses <gasps> that is probably my favorite actually that dirty sink is probably my favorite hack out of all of these so comment down below what is your favorite hack because i would love to know um but yeah that is so cool okay 
okay so yeah i don't have that many tables here but you know what barely anyone comes to my bakery anyway so we're just gonna go ahead and put a bakery oh that is such a cute sign yes let's go ahead and use that over there um let's do a bakery menu over here um should we do this one? Oh my gosh it's pink and beautiful we have to use it but here is a rough sketch of our hack bakery i could add a ton of decorations and a lot more stuff um don't forget to comment down below what is your favorite hack out of all of these i think mine is the dirty sink because it just looks super cool but also if you guys want me to open this bakery up for business one day let me know down in the comments below because we could open it up have some fun maybe add some more hacks to it i don't know what do you guys think let me know down below but if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like down below because it truly helps me a lot and also if you guys are new subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you guys can join the unicorn family because we are the best family ever but i hope you enjoyed this video this was just, this oh someone slammed the door and scared me okay anyways this was super fun to make and i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys tomorrow with another video bye bye my heart is still pounding because that door slam really scared me okay